Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here, and uh, today I thought I'd fly the Valiant by E-Flight. It's been a little while since I've flown this airplane on the channel, and I thought, man, we should get this out here. There's been a lot of questions about a second airplane, and so I thought, you know, this is one of the best airplanes, I think, that for, for your second plane. So... Anyways, let's get this thing in the air and see how it does. All right, the wind is coming out of the southwest. So I got it pointed that way towards the housing over there. We got it in low rates and throttle cut is off. Should be ready to go. I'll bring it on around here. Let's see how it looks. Not too bad. Carrying kind of a knife edge in the downwind. Bring it down here nice and low. Right to inverted. Roll it. Let's bring it back around inverted. Carrying a little bit of speed. And the wind caught it as I was taking that corner. And you see, and I, I did a correction that made the airplane go upright. So what I did to get it back to inverted was just roll it. Kind of disguises it. Lots of inverted with rolls. Taking it full speed up into the inverted loop and low rates, by the way. I'm going to bring it around here this direction. Back to inverted. Putting them stripes up high. Just having a little bit of fun. I am flying on a 4S battery. I'm not sure if this airplane's supposed to be flown on 4S or not, but I am. <laughs> when I fly inverted, usually no rudder involved. Just gets a little too confusing. I'm already uh, pushing on the elevator to keep it out of the ground, as we say. And uh, the aileron works the normal way, so that's a little easier to understand. But I'm just, basically I'm just deciding how much pressure to put on the elevator to keep it up. Up a little bit high. The wind was moving it around just a little too much. Oh. <laughs> so a little... Uh, let's, we'll call that a two-point roll. <laughs> I, was, I stopped because it felt like it was diving on me, so that's all that was, really. Instead of a nice clean roll like that, I stopped and corrected with the elevator. Bring this on around. I've been rolling the other way. Let's roll this way once. So I always do stalls. Let's take it up into the stall and we'll bring it out inverted. Rarely do that. In fact, I climbed out of there way too much. it on around inverted I was trying to do a knife edge off of it a little more tricky because it was backwards 
can see there I'm pulling on the rudder to keep it up. I really enjoy flying upside down often and uh, today is no exception. I'm having a good time. Slowed it down just a little bit. <laughs> Take it up a little bit. It was felt like it was getting too low. A little less talking because I'm concentrating on my thumbs just a little extra. My timer is starting to tell me it's time to land. we go we're gonna bring it in for a landing in this direction of course just like that we will give it one click on the flaps when I bring it around I don't think I use the flaps for the takeoff but we'll let it slow it down just a little bit since we're doing a little bit of an angle here perfect well all right let's take it on around I had the perfect speed and then it didn't sit down so touch and go it is and bring it around for the landing one more time I'll take that one that was much cleaner and the approach felt good too the Sun is a little bit too much on this side so we'll kick those flaps off and we'll take it back here remember if this one has telemetry sure does it says uh, I got 30% battery left and I went five and a half minutes so pretty good so guys man I just love the Valiant by eFlight this airplane can do quite a bit of things and hopefully I demonstrated that by flying mostly inverted for this flight hopefully you guys enjoyed that a um, little bit challenging for me, but hopefully we can. I get a pretty decent video, and you guys can see it really well. Uh, the Valiant, such a great value, and even if it's you're beyond your second airplane, this one you should not sleep on. It really flies good for the size. This is one that you could throw in the car and just have a good time with. So, and and like I just did, I flew it on a 4S 2200. It flies great on a 3S2200. Um, I don't know what else to say. It's just an awesome airplane. You guys should consider it. I will have it linked in the description box as always. And uh, big thanks to the Lord for a beautiful day. The sun is coming out. We got a little breeze, but not too bad. And um, just had a good time flying today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, big thanks to everybody who watches the videos. You guys are just great support to the channel. I appreciate it so very, very much. Don't forget to give me those thumbs up. Let YouTube know that you like the videos. Until next time, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here.